My name is Akachuku Emmanuel Uche, also known as MZ. I'm from Abia State. I'm a graduate of Unilag, University of Lagos State, signed to Career Records. Je suis l'enfant béni. La vie est belle, on est partout. Everything for you. Oh yeah. Run, come, come, jubilate. Everything I do, elevate. Small boy, me dominating. Right now. It's um, double M because my real name is Emmanuel. So I, um, when I was in school, I had friends that instead of calling me Emmanuel, they you know prefer you know the shortcut. They started calling me MZ, MZ, MZ. So the name became popular in school. So I decided to like you know take it as my stage name. <laughs> Boy, I come celebrate. Right now, me just want to be thankful for the grind, the hustle, and blessing. I studied French in school. I studied French in school, but I had passion for music. I never saw myself like uh, someone is, like a banker or a doctor or something. I just wanted to do music. Music is all I know how to do, and I know how to do best. So I studied French in Unilag, University of Lagos. Actually, my mom, my dad, they wanted me to go back to school. So um, instead of, I didn't want me to do, to do music. So instead of like, okay, yeah, proving stubborn and everything, I decided to like go to school since I was the first son in the house. And um, I accepted that I was going to go back to school, but, you know, chasing my music on the ground, you know. So I decided to like choose a do French because I had a little knowledge in French. I stayed in Benin Republic. I stayed in uh, some part of French countries, and I thank God that um, it's, it's useful. It's useful because um, I have like two fan base, you know, the French side and the English uh, Anglophone side. So speaking French, it's, it's part of the, you know, interaction and everything. Right now, me just want to be thankful for the... It's just everything about MZ, you know, everything about me everything about my life, everything about the struggle, you know. Started back then, poor family, nobody to support, nobody to help, nobody to like, you know, say, okay, yeah, this is, let's play this song on Sound City, MTV Base and all that. But right now, everyone is, you know, playing my song. Yeah, I, I write my music. This game is, I call it a division of labor. Not just in economics, we have division of labor in music to, you know, it's not just you as an artist doing everything. You need to like give room to some people, like you can't get it all perfect. So I still give room to, you know, songwriters when, you know, it's, you know, necessary for me to. So um, I write music and I, I also have like uh, songwriters to, you know, back me up in what I'm doing. You know. The first song I wrote was um, um, Amore. That was back in 2012 in Benin Republic. I wrote that song and that was like the first song. I shot the video over there in Benin Republic, you know. But the showbiz there was not like, you know, our Nigeria is like number one in the game. Afrobeats is number one in, around the world, you know. So I had to like come back write my jam. I wanted to be in Lagos. I wanted to hustle in Lagos because um, life here and life over there is different. I, had, I have um, three collaborations right now. I have the first one with Sean Kuti, which I, I featured in Anima, yeah, Anima. So ugly, Anima, 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 so Anima, so ugly, Anima, so Like if 
for nothing. Oh, oh, animal fit to get for matic. Oh, oh, oh. Animal carry money. Yeah. So ugly. Animal. So, animal. I featured Shion Kosi because after recording the song, I noticed that something was still missing. You know, the saxophone. So when I told my manager that, you know, I needed, you know, I needed the life on the beat. He asked me, what kind of life are you talking about? I said it's saxophone because um, Fela Kuti inspires my sound a lot. So I looked at, oh, I want to have someone on that song. Who might that be? I thought of Shemun Kuti. Ah, come on, Shemun Kuti should, is like the best person to have on this song. So that was how we sent him the instrumental one he had the song he was like he had the song he was like come on i love this jam man i'm going to voice on it so he placed his voice plays his um sax and everything and he sent it back when i had the job i was like come on this is fantastic it's it's it was as if uh, um god already blended everything that th that day was you know going to exist that i'm going to have a song and if it's 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 I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to put it, you know, but it's, it's, it was just um, the way God wanted it to be. Yeah, SK and MZ. Yeah, yeah. Is Something is coming. Something hot. Something very, very Something hot. animalistic. Uh, <laughs> so, talking about the um, Tenny Makanaki, I had Tenny Makanaki on Away. That was when I, I got back from, from Benin Republic. I went for my radio tour. So when I got back, I, my boss asked me to like, you know, think of any artist that I would love to, you know, work with, you know. So I thought of, you know, having Tenny because I, I love her song. I love her sound so much. I've been listening to her sounds for a long time now. So I told him that I would love to work with Tenny. Actually, we had two songs, but the first one, this one was just, you know, to, to you know, cut the grass and level uh -huh. more the comb, understand? So we ha we worked on two songs and. Salut, je suis là avec Tenny. Ça c'est Tenny. Makana qui va vivre by own son French. Emi son Yoruba. Salut Tenny. It was great and I'm I'm so happy that people are like feeling the vibe and loving the sound. I'm so 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 happy, you know. And the third one was with um. Uh, um, Starboy Terry, that was on no time, no time. So that that one is, I've not like, I was not even in the studio with Starboy Terry when he recorded his verse. I think he was in Ghana then, so we sent him the song because I wanted to like work with a young guy to way you know did the hustle, you know, pushing and looking at you know the other side of success. <laughs> yeah, and also I I I I love the uh, Starboy FC and all that. So I wanted to like have you know that link, that connection, and you know share my vibe too with him. So when I sent him the song, he recorded his part. He sent he sent it back, and when I played it, I was like, come on, why is this happening like this? Like everything is just aligning. Like everything is just. You know, merging together as if you know, we planned it already. So it's all by the grace of God, you know, and we are here still pushing on. You guys should also expect some dope dope collaborations from Africa, from the world. Yeah, um, I would say, firstly, I would say um, all thanks to um, social media, you know, if not for the fact that social media existed. I don't even know what we could have done because that period, you know, you couldn't, you, you can't go out, you can't go out, you can't do things, you can't like, you know, go to the studio to vibe. This producer has to like come to your place and even when the producer comes to your place, you'll be scared like, come on, who know who this guy is shake for root? Who know this guy hug for root before coming? You'll still be like scared of, you know, recording with people, but um, it wasn't easy. I will not lie to you. No movements, no shows, and all that. It was just a um, few, I think last month was the first performance I had. Like, I've been dropping songs back to back, but 
due to the COVID and everything, I couldn't like perform my song. So the COVID really slowed a lot down, but we are still pushing, we are still moving, we are dominating, you know. During that time, I recorded a lot of songs. Most of the songs that, um, that, 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 that was on my EP, I recorded during the COVID period. So after lockdown, during the wala wala of the country, you know, the Togate stuff and everything ends. That was the period I recorded that song because I record songs. I, I get inspired by everything happening around, the people I meet, what I see. When I'm driving, I see people fighting. I see people, okay, what might have, you know, caused the fight? I'll be like, oh, this is political, okay? When I, when I go home, I play instrumentals and the things just come and we do it. So that is just now my grandfather is no more. For my own generation, I no go agree. Animal, you must give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. You know, I've been in the Republic of Naira Mali. We are we're gonna blast the country, scatter everywhere. As Nigeria guys will be stand Afro beats to the world, always killing it globally. <laughs> I'll be on tour soon. I'll be on tour. I'll be I'll be I'll be touring them like the French part of Africa. You know, I want to use this advantage, you know, that I speak French. Let's go to the market and hit it hard in the French side, sell the Afro, Afro, Afro beats sound over there too. You know, a lot of collaborations, a lot of, um, a lot coming. <laughs> you just have to follow me on my Instagram page, The Real MZ, The Real Double MZY, The Real Double MZY. Follow me on Instagram and Stay tuned for more, more, more spectacle. Spectacle. They call it spectacle in French. Coming. <laughs> so I know we take my talk to them. I go get this axe. MZB.